Hey y'all, it's me. Um, been a long time, but I've got an update for y'all for about Linda. Andy just called me and he let me know that she made it through surgery. They got all of her old hardware out. She just got out of recovery and she's kind of riding that, that good wave right now. <laughs> That's how I look at it. It's a good wave. Um, I know I haven't been on here at all in a long time, but I've been trying. Y'all, I am, I'm hopeless. I am hopeless at this. I have all the respect in the world for those women who can make a pattern because I've been trying to for the last month. My niece-in-law saw this on TikTok, okay? So I said, oh, wow, that's cute. Let me go find a pattern. <laughs> there is none. So what I had to do was take that image from TikTok, blow it up, and I did this part different, and then this part didn't go all the way across. So, I mean, I gotta figure that out, but it's supposed to be, you know, a little lower. So that's my bad. That's for a paperback book. This is my hardcover book one. Um, still, same thing, didn't get it to the corners far, you know, far enough to the corners, but it's the same distance from both corners. So it's kind of like driving me crazy. But that's what it looks like. Um, for a hardcover book and paperback. So, uh, I hope she likes it because Lord only knows it took me forever. And I did me forever to do it. Cause, Cause see, I have, I, I like math, but I hate math when I have to use it to do something like this. Cause it literally drives me crazy. And then once we found out she wanted them. Of course, my favorite sister told me I need to make one for everybody. So I'm making everybody a set, but I'm doing the second one different. Instead of making one long piece and then flipping it together and so, because it throws it off for some reason, it's never, never straight. I'm doing a in a round. So I'm hoping that by doing it in a round, it will, I'll let y'all know. I, I, I hope it will come out right because that way I don't have to worry about but just one seam instead of two. And that was my problem with the other one. I had two seams and I was just like, it ain't happening. And then let's see. Oh, I don't know if I've been on since I did this, but broke two toes. Still recuperating from that. Uh, slid right to my door. <laughs> Ouch. It hurt. Uh, but, you know, hey. <laughs> It'll heal. Uh, I had them wrapped up for the first couple of weeks. Agonizing pain. Because I thought I only broke one toe. One. And it ended up being I broke two. When I had x-rays done, they, they found two broken toes. So, oh, and I also had degeneration in my foot, which I knew that was going to happen from my arthritis and stuff. But, um, let's see. That's about it. Y'all, literally, I have not been busy at all. I've just been, I guess you'd say piddling. <laughs> just, this thing has me so, so twisted because I get frustrated. And when I get frustrated... I don't, I don't want to crochet what I'm working on. I want to move to something else and I don't need to do that. I need to finish these because they're like for Christmas, but I got to finish my sister's character blanket as well. So I've got a character blanket to finish and because she doesn't have the gingerbread man. But I gotta finish the gingerbread man on hers. And then um, gotta do the white outline all over again because I had to pull it out to add the gingerbread man. So I gotta do the whole white thing again. And then uh, 
I got two other projects in there that she wants me to finish before I do anything else, but I do have to finish these before Christmas, so yeah. I never thought trying to replicate a pattern, because I, I got in touch with a girl from TikTok, and I asked her specifically, do you have a pattern for this? And she said no, but I'll tell you what, I used these three videos to create my own thing, and I was like, okay so i went to the three videos and i couldn't find hiding her hair of what she used to make hers that's why i'm like doing it idiot style i'm just you know throwing whatever at it i just oh my goodness it's so it's frustrating because i really am trying hard and i feel like the harder i try the worse it's getting so but everybody picks such weird colors. My other niece-in-law. My grandniece. And, oh, oh yeah. My sister. Yeah, she wants the crazy one. I'm like, okay, I'm all down with that. It'll be pretty. Uh... And I've had that yarn for eight years. I don't think I can get it again. But I've had that yarn for eight years because I did a blanket that had that as the center of a, it was a, a granny square center. And I did all fluorescent colors. And I, <laughs> I know, I'm like crazy. But it was the bright orange, the, the highlighter pink, you know, the, the bold, hot pink color. And then the fluorescent yellow, I mean, and the fluorescent green. I mean, these were some really bright colors, but that's what my niece wanted. So I made her blanket and there we are. And then, um, let's see, y'all, I'm like jiggling my leg because I'm like trying to figure out what I need to say and I didn't think about what I was going to say before I got off because the, the minute I got off the phone I was like I gotta record gotta record down um because I know y'all are worried and I know y'all need an update and he said please 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 don't call her right now because she's <clears throat> she's still recovering and he he wants to at least give her this evening to you know get herself up to speed and he just doesn't want it, her phone ringing off the hook and waking her up and and messing with her and you know he's he's very protective of linda because <laughs> he told me not to call her he said i you know he called me and i got that phone call and called him back and because you know of course my phone's gonna say it, it's not a number they recognize so they wouldn't put it through I had his number in my phone under contact, so it should have put it through, but it didn't. Um, oh, I broke a vacuum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was interesting. And so I had to buy me a new one. I was going to get another cordless, but I'd rather have the cord. Just got, you know, one of the small handheld with the cord. That's all I wanted. It looks like a cordless, but it's got a cord. So I'm fine with that. It's pretty. Uh, not that I really care what it looks like. It's a, it's a vacuum cleaner. Um, my sister came over and went through a whole bunch of my stuff. That's why I've got projects over there in the corner. Mm -hmm. And we went through all my yarn and she took a whole bunch of it back to her house, which yeah, I can't order any more yarn. I literally cannot uh, because I have so much. And what's funny is when people call and ask me for, you know, like something, I always have white. I always have white, I always have red, and I always have green because those are colors that I will use a lot. So... I always have those on hand. So when when somebody calls me up and says, "Can you make me these and and send them to me?" Yeah, no problem. I get them. I'll get them to you. And sure enough, that's all I do. Send them on. 
Um, Linda has sent me a couple of kits. Uh, one was a Halloween blanket. It was very, very pretty, but my sister's got it at her house. And the other is like, I think y'all saw it was that ladder thing with the pots and yeah, it's really pretty too. And uh, of course she took it over there as well because she wants me to finish her blanket first. And I don't blame her. It's Christmas. Uh, let's see. Oh, been making a lot of this. This Chex Mix. You know, I found out that if you use a whole a whole box of the family size Crispix, it's enough to make sure it's not overly buttery. Because uh, sometimes people complain that it's kind of greasy, but I don't have that problem because I use a whole box of Crispix and. You know, about a cup and half of pecans. And that's all I put in mine. I mean, I used to put all the pretzels and everything else in there. And I just got tired of doing all that. So, I just stuck it to the one, two things I like the most. <laughs> so, but I like the pretzels. But I just ain't got the patience for it right now. I've just been really down. Kind of depressed lately. Uh, for a while, so my doctor just finally increased my um, medication. So hopefully I'll be feeling better here soon and uh, be a little more on top of things. Um, Y'all, I keep looking behind me because I know there's something I was supposed to bring up. And I, mm -mm, no, I did get this at the Dollar Tree the other day. Look at that color. I'm going to make one of those boot bags out of this color. So I got some. I shouldn't have, but I did anyway because it's so pretty and I haven't seen it anywhere else. So I got that. Um, I still have a whole bag of yarn over there on the side of my bed. <laughs> and of course, you know what's under it. And uh, I think that's about it, y'all. I mean, I got... I got the book I was looking for. Uh... The Day Christ Died and The Day Christ Was Born. I got both of those in one book. Um, it was a book I had, and I just thought I'd lost it. And I, and I hadn't. It was just put in a different place. And then I've got, you know, excited about that. And then, I don't know, y'all. I can't remember everything. I forget. Uh, there's just been a whole lot that I've been doing as far as trying to just day-to-day. -day. Uh, I've been cooking a lot more, which is kind of strange because, you know, I don't cook a whole lot because it's just me. But, you know, when I cook too much, I always take it next door and see if they want it. And they always do because, I mean, <laughs> I'm not a bad cook. <laughs> I just don't cook a lot. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. Just, you know, it's kind of weird trying to cook for one person. And you always overmake, especially because, see, I used to cook for seven people when I was younger, from the age of 10 to like 17, 18. And then uh, cooked for two when it was just me and my daughter. Um, so, I mean, I did that for 18 years. <laughs> you know, and it's just, it's different to go from seven and then to two and then to one so it's it's just a little strange i guess you'd say because i'm just not used to cooking so small of an amount but at least i have leftovers and i love me some leftovers especially leftover spaghetti sauce or leftover meatloaf oh my gosh that stuff is so good but I don't know. Everybody does their meatloaf different. I, You know, my mom used to have a recipe when we were younger. And I loved that meatloaf. She doesn't make it like that anymore, though. Because it takes a heavy cast iron skillet to put the meatloaf in. And you use real cheese in between the layers. And it is to die for. Of course, it's a lot greasy, but it's a lot delicious because you just cook it just a little bit much. So it gets that real nice brown crisp to it. It's so good. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm going to have to cook me some meatloaf here shortly. Um, 
other than that, y'all, I've just been doing my thing, um, trying to get everything, you know, done. I've been wrapping gifts and, uh, you know, wrapping her presents and everything over there, doing my laundry. I've had poop. Oh, I did have poison oak. Yeah, right before I broke my toes. See, I had gone to the doctor the day before and got something for my poison oak because it just wasn't going away on its own. I got scars from it, um, especially on my legs where I scratched. It was bad. And then, uh, let's see. So I went to the doctor and then the very next day I slid into my door and that was in September, uh, the ninth, and my feet still hurt. And she said it's gonna be a while before it heals, but I am so impatient, y'all. Y'all know I have no patience. I don't know why, but I used to have all the patience in the world and now I just don't and it's frustrating. Um so that's all I can say is, you know, I just do the best I can. There's a we found all my project bags and of course now most of them are empty because, you know, Hey, when your sister comes over to go through your yarn, a lot gets emptied out. <laughs> but she hasn't seen the inside of my closet yet. Because she's really going to freak at that. But hopefully she won't see it. I'm trying to keep her out of it. Um, because it's in there. It's in there. It's not neat. It's not tidy and orderly. But it's in there. I mean, I've shoved and pushed and placed and there's a little bit of yarn in there. <sighs> yeah, that wouldn't fit anywhere else. I didn't, didn't suck the air out of the bags. <laughs> they don't fit in there very well. Uh, but that's it, y'all. I wanted to make sure y'all understood that Linda's okay. She's doing better. She's out of the surgery. Uh, the doctor said the surgery went wonderfully. Um, I know she was worried about that, but it it went awesome. And I'm just so happy that now, hopefully this will work and she won't be in the, so much pain anymore. And I'm so praying for that. So if y'all get a chance, y'all pray for that too. Uh, or, you know, ask whomever you you choose you know, be God or Allah or whoever, you know, just would you send a little bit of a prayer up there for Linda? Because, you know, I kind of, I kind of need her to, to be around for a while. Um, just, she's my friend and I really, you know, I'd do anything for that woman. So I am going to let y'all go so I could try to get this uploaded. My internet has been crazy, so I don't know how long it will take to upload. But just to warn you, it may take a while. All right. I'll talk to y'all later and take care. Bye.